The police showed up to the Conjuring House owner actual home for a status she posted on Facebook earlier. And it didn't stop there. She literally went to sue everybody that talked bad about her and the Conjuring House. And she started with this girl named Brittany. Yo, what's good, man? It's your boyfriend, Corey, and I am back with another video. And we about to talk about the famous Conjuring House that's literally falling down to the ground that's literally getting set on fire and vanish from the paranormal community because all the things that the owner, the new owner is doing right now. I seen a video of her talking to birds. I seen a video that was on the news. I seen a video of her accusing people showing up to her house and a whole bunch of crap that I personally don't believe. I don't know if it's true. I'm just saying, I don't believe it. It's not enough evidence for me to believe it. You guys can believe it if you want to. That's your choice. But I'm more concerned about this. The status that she posted earlier really caught my attention. And I want you guys to see what I'm looking at right now. Some things I actually want to give you your credit because you're absolutely right on some things you said on this post. For example, I have the First Amendment right of freedom of speech. You're 100% right. You can say whatever you want, but remember one thing. Some things you say, you still can get consequences for. Another thing she said was correct. Please also remind your police department that is illegal for officers to open the door to enter my house when I have not granted permission for access. That's true. You need a warrant. You need a warrant. But something I don't agree with, and it was this part right here. This lady named Brittany said, I'm Jacqueline Nunez. That's what she said, you know? She said, I'm Jacqueline Nunez the president of Crazy Town. And the Conjuring House owner clapped back with, thank you for providing additional evidence that will continue to be investigated. Then, right after that, she posted this. Well, she updated the status and posted this. Like the previous box, and did not take long for people to jump on the Looney Tune bandwagon, did it? Just know the slander and threats against a business are illegal in Rhode Island and under federal law. Thank you for your hateful lies of which the truth you know nothing of. I know that these crimes are being investigated and further comments being noted. Anyway, here is the post to the police department. Whoa, my bad. The Boston Police Department. She is literally screenshotting, video, screen recording anybody that talks about her in a negative way. Anybody that throw dirt on the Conjuring House name. Anybody that throw dirt on her name. This is insane. This house turned into like, <sighs> it turned horrible. Like it's bad now. Like I don't even want to visit the Conjuring house no more. That's how bad it is. Like I need new owners to step in. I need somebody to step in so I can be able to go to the house. I know I don't know what to say. I'm literally I'm scared to even meet this lady because she's the what what she's doing is scaring all the paranormal investigators away. All the people that watch the Conjuring movies around the world that want to go to the Conjuring house, running them out the door. It was already bad enough you turn half of the house to the gift shop. It was already bad enough that you haven't been paying your 
employees that they say allegedly I don't know I'm just basic look I'm not saying you did you did I'm just basing off what people were saying you know what I'm saying but hold on now she might be telling the truth all of this that she's doing might could just be a stunt all of this can all that look she just can be getting the publicity that she want and like, it made it on the news, guys. She might just want to get all the eyes looking at the Conjuring House because this is the biggest story right now. All publicity is good publicity, people say. Everybody, I'm making a video on the Conjuring House. This is how crazy it is out here. This might be her big plan and it's actually working because everybody is trying to see what the hell is going on with her. She might don't even have no type of mental problems that people say. She might don't have none of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? We all maybe just fell into the trap. She, she, she got us. She got us. You know what I'm saying? Or it could be a real situation of, yeah, she have some issues going on and she don't know what to do. She felt like she getting attacked. So she just trying to, you know, fight back but doing it in a wrong way. Doing it in a most horrible way right now. I hope she don't have any issues and I hope that this is a plan to just get eyes on the Conjuring House because the way she's acting is crazy. I seen the video of her talking to birds and the birds wasn't really saying anything. All it was doing is like chirping, like chirp chirp every three seconds. It wasn't like the birds was like like literally trying to communicate with her. You know what I'm saying? I seen that video and I almost shed a tear. I seen all the videos that these YouTubers posted and I'm like, damn. But one thing about Frank Horror, I'm like at both sides of the story. Hey, don't be suing me. Don't sue nobody. Don't sue the YouTubers that just trying to speak about the situation. Don't sue people that's just trying to, that give their input and stuff like that because you give your input on these posts a lot. You give your, like you talk, you talk a lot of shit. I see that, I see that status you posted that was, you was talking crazy. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know guys, how you guys feel about this? The police showing up to her house. Um, the whole, she's documenting and federal law stuff to people that's speaking bad and throwing lies at her. How you guys feel about all this mess that's going in the Conjuring House? Leave your thoughts in the comments and I don't know, man. I'ma just pray and hope things get better over at the Conjuring House because one day when the owner change or she gets better, I wanna visit one time. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy Frank Cora, man. I'ma cut you out my next video. Let's effing go. Get out.